Hello, it's Chuck from Aquatic Artists, and we are here at our indoor water park. We're building this amazing slide waterfall project at this beautiful indoor pool, and we are coming to the end of our part of the work. Uh, our crews are kind of wrapping up some details. They, we got the beautiful boulder steps in. This is gonna be a planting bed. So we're gonna put some soil in here and they're gonna plant beautiful tropical plants in here. The rock work is kind of getting finished up. We've got our beautiful waterfall here. And there's gonna be another planting bed over here to kind of soften the slide and another one back there. So we're gonna have like one, two, three beautiful planting areas, beautiful two-tiered waterfall, all inside this amazing building. We got a landing up top, which is pretty cool. You go up the steps, a nice flat landing. We're gonna put some, you know, a nice wide open landing to get on the slide and kind of go back down. Once they get on the slide, they'll get out here and kind of step out. We put a beautiful piece of bluestone in to kind of match up with the coping. And uh, one of the cool things is, this was all a concrete deck all the way across here. So what we did was we cut the concrete on a nice curve like this, and we took out the concrete, right? So what that does, it does two things. Number one, from aesthetic, this feature is kind of looks more built in, right? We took the concrete out so the rocks sit in the feature, right? So it looks a lot more built in. It would look very contrived or placed if it was put on top of the deck. So this is more of a built in placed kind of look. Uh, so it has a much nicer kind of cleaner, uh, more natural built in kind of look. The second thing is we cut the concrete all the way around the entire feature. And what that does, it takes all the pressure off the pool, takes all the pressure off the house. It makes the weight of the water feature independent from everything else around it, because you create a control joint there. Right, that's something we did in the beginning. We kind of cut it all out. You know, so it's got two purposes. One is aesthetic and one is functional. And I think that's when, that's where the um, art and the science, when you overlap the aesthetic and the function, and you may, where those two points blend, where those two circles intersect, that's your sweet spot. One of the really unique things about this is, as you can see, you're kind of seeing the inside of it, the sort of substructure of these amazing projects that we built. Number one, there's a steel frame that holds the slide up, so it's in a concrete footing, so it's not going to go anywhere. The second thing is, in this particular situation, we use cinder blocks. There's cinder blocks, and there's also structural foam. Okay, what we do is, in certain scenarios where we use an expanded EPS, which is expanded polystyrene, which is a structural foam, right? We use that in certain environments. See all that white foam there? That is big, huge blocks of foam. And where we use it is in areas where we need structural stability, but we don't want the weight of rock or crushed stone. Crushed stone works, compacted stone works awesome as a base, but it's very heavy. So this is an interior environment. Um, and the, so we used it because it was very tight access and the access, we would, have to, we would have had to have brought in 60 tons of material. So we used the foam instead because it's much easier to get into the space and you don't have to compact it because it comes in blocks. Right, so from a standpoint of tight space, tight access, uh, tight working environment, this product works very well. And it's, a, it's engineered, so it's used on bridges and you know, it's specced out by engineers for doing big industrial kind of projects. It's not styrofoam. People think it's styrofoam because it looks like styrofoam, but it's actually a structured, a structural engineered foam that it has a lot of great applications. As you can see, the slide is in, a lot of the boulder walls are in, and the last part of it is we're gonna bring topsoil in, and we're gonna fill a bunch of topsoil in here, and then we're gonna bring some boulders in, terraces to kind of wrap through here, to kind of soften some of the slide, and give room to fill with topsoil, which then they'll put these beautiful tropical plants in, which will bring it all together. Right, so pretty exciting. Our team's gonna wrap up the project today, our phase of it anyway. We got all our mats and everything down, they'll clean everything up, and then what'll happen next is the pool will get plastered, the landscapers will come in and put some plants in, and then they'll turn it on and enjoy it. So uh, it's pretty exciting, can't wait to see it running.